All right, it's December 6th and we're on, uh, gonna be on Portage Lake today. So we just tried Saturday morning, yesterday, December 5th, we tried the St. Joe River with Spencer. Couldn't catch anything, neither one of us. Both got skunked, fished from seven to 11 yesterday morning. Uh, talked to one other boat and they also didn't catch anything, so. I was gonna go to Long Lake, I, was, I stopped there, but there was some ice by the launch, kind of just a little ways out, and I'm not sure how much of the lake had some ice on it. Mostly clear, there's a little bit of ice over there in that corner, maybe right in the shallows. But the rest of the lake looks pretty much wide open, so plan is just to try a blade bait for the most part, maybe throw the A-rig, jerk bait, uh, and stick with those kind of baits. So we'll see if we can catch something, hopefully. It's been uh, three or four trips now where I haven't caught anything, so no videos. Sorry. All right, stay tuned. First news of the day, we got a new fish finder coming. Bought one of the Garmin 93 SV with the whatever UHD 54 transducer so no pan optics that'll be in the future but finally replacing this old Lowrance LMS 520C that served me well for 12 years since I bought the boat now we do have this Raymarine Dragonfly also we never seem to use the Dragonfly because I'm always at the bow I'm never fishing off the back of the boat and don't spend that much time driving around it's a slow startup on this Dragonfly so by the time I change locations finally kicks on all right my plan is to start uh, here on Portage Lake we're gonna start on the big point on the east side of the lake that was good to us uh, this fall when we tried it a few days in a row and uh, we're gonna start by that big point see if we can find something if that point doesn't work then we'll move up uh, closer to the big flat where the creek comes in I figured this lake would be open long lake had some ice on it uh, but I figured because of the creek coming through here this water might be a few degrees warmer uh, seems to be because like I said most lake most of the lake seems pretty open a little bit of ice in the corners and the shallows but that's all I see so far I'm not gonna run across the lake high speed though no, I just marked a big ball of bait 30 feet of water another ball of bait remember that another ball of bait 35 feet of water we might have to fish over here deep that though, 30 35 feet of water marking some bait. All right, let's hopefully catch something today. Water temperature's 38 and a half degrees, air temperature's 32. So I'm just getting my guides to freeze up a little bit. Just a little bit. Feels a little warmer than that out. All right, let's move up to where the uh, Portage Creek feeds into the lake, north end of the lake, and uh, see if we can't catch something out deep away from that. Seems like maybe they'd be balled up and congregated there. So let's try that now. All right, we saw a bald, bald eagle, pretty sure. That was kind of cool. Wasn't the best view of it, just kind of gray and dark, but pretty sure I had a white head. Looked big enough to be a bald eagle. Um, ice right there at the creek, just marked in 25 feet of water. We marked a little ball, so we're gonna try fishing the blade bait. 
out here. This is where a lot of bluegill fishermen like to be. So we're going to try this for just a little bit. And uh, if we don't get anything here, we're going to go back near the launch where we marked fish in 30 feet of water. Try that. Tried chicken pig for a while. Went from 20 feet to 10 feet. We're gonna go back out to 20 and see if we can't catch anything. Otherwise, we're gonna go to that far, far end by the launch and try in 30 feet. All right, let's drive around some more. There's another point on the west side of the lake that uh, maybe we'll try. Um, I'm just gonna see what we see as we go. So. All right. So like I said, there's a point right up ahead where that buoy is. We're gonna fish around that with the blade bait for a little bit. Marked a big bait ball. Camera's still on. Nice one. Spotted. Finally, caught something, man. Looked good, wasn't coming on. Double hooked. The silver cicada. It's a nice one, that's three pounds. Full of spots. All marked up. Beat up tail, bloody tail. It's like he's spawning or something. 17 and three quarters long. 2.97. There we go. Almost 18 an inch, almost three pounds. Finally on the blade bait. Getting close to being time to quit. It's almost four o'clock, been here almost two hours, but uh, I'm gonna try to catch a couple more, hopefully.
Them All right, so December 6th on Portage Lake and uh, spent two and a half hours out here from two o'clock to 4.30 and finally caught some fish. Uh, there in the last 45 minutes, finally caught two, a uh, what, 17 and three quarter inch, uh, 2.97. I saw it spit up a little bluegill, so we would have had a three pounder, but spit up his meal. And then uh, we ended up catching one more little small mouth there that was probably 13, 12, 13. And uh, that was it, so. Um, Man, we tried some spots. Too bad we didn't find that spot earlier. Could have stayed there, but because it's been slow for me the past, that's the first fish I've caught in four trips. So Spencer and I tried St. Joe River there just yesterday morning, and neither one of us caught a fish. I tried Long Lake uh, Wednesday evening for a couple hours in the almost dark, and then after dark, and couldn't catch anything there. Um, Saturday before that, Spencer and I tried the lake that we like, and we didn't catch anything then either. So. Finally caught something here and uh, on the blade bait. But man, water temperature was 38 degrees, air temperature was 32, 34, something like that. Guides kept freezing up, so it was cold, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this year's videos that I made. Uh, hopefully we can make a couple more, hoping to get out. It's supposed to warm up this Saturday, so hopefully we'll get out again. Uh, I don't know if the lakes are gonna stay open though. It's gonna be freezing at night, so they might start to freeze over. Look forward to next year's videos then, if we don't make any more this year. Thanks for watching. And uh, next year we'll have that new fish finder on the boat farming, so that'll be nice. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.